Hello everyone and welcome back to Silver Chains. This time it's part three. So, last time my baby brother ran off with my dad's arm. Which is a perfectly normal sentence in a game like this, but my dad, the doll, gave me a key to the library. Now, I think, I'm just thinking back to the uh, the padlocks that I've seen, I think it actually might be to the door that's back here. So yeah, we're gonna have to use the shortcut, go down the stairs, and I think it might be the double doors to my right, down there. So let's give that a go. Oh, and yeah, of course, uh, my, my baby brother's a ghost too, if I forgot to mention that, yeah. Perfectly normal, and yes, this is the library. So we should find the picture of the sun. And a key, I guess, <laughs> for that box that's upstairs. But yeah, okay, sure, a picture of the sun. Let's do that. Any notes around here? We got some books. Books that I don't really want to read. Okay. No sun yet. Oh, there we go. There's the mark again, and that's the sun. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Maggots, too? Oh, oh, what was that? Oh. Oh, it's that sort of key? It's a clockwork key. Oh, right, yeah. So is, is that a, a music box or something, then? It says a key to the music box, so I guess so, yeah. All right. But I don't want the doll's head or anything. Sure. What's this? It's gone very Beauty and the Beast. Oh, shit. Put it back. <laughs> Put it back. Okay. Uh, don't suppose we want to take out any of the books, do we? No. Right, well... I, I found the picture of the sun. I found the key. Haven't really found another way into the loft, but perhaps that's what the music box is about? Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to have to go up there because that door's locked, isn't it? Yeah, okay, I could do this. That's not a problem. Yeah, a bit of a shame I can't jump straight across there, but I don't think I've got it in me. I've been running around this place so much, I'm, I'm kind of tired. Whoa, hey! Mom, what? Okay. <laughs> yep. I'm just gonna have to try and get used to that, I suppose. Sure. No sign of her anymore. Anyway, the box. Yes, the music box, presumably. <laughs> there you go. Give that a spin. Five times clockwise, three times anti-clockwise, and then <laughs> six times clockwise again, maybe? Alright. Take your time. Oh. oh, okay. That's why we've got our finger out, is it? Okay, sure. <laughs> it's at the ready. Oh. Is it just W, A, S, and D? I assume so. Right. Okay. Looks like there's a little ballerina in there. Is that what I want? Anything else? You, oh, no, I guess not. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. Again, I don't know how that's going to help me get the arm back or get into the loft, but great. Oh shit. Is that somewhere to hide? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Oh, oh again, just in the middle of time. Maybe not. That was really abrupt, actually. Okay. Well, I'm in control again. This time at the tree before it burns to the ground. Oh, look at me. I must be Little Peter. <laughs> so this is some sort of bizarre memory. I assume the manor has, you know, a quite wide area around it. You know, it's grounds and stuff, so maybe this is somewhere around. I can't see the manor, though. Have we still got, like... No. Haven't got the monocle, haven't got the lantern. Do we climb the tree? Ah. There's a note. It reads, It's all over. 
After yesterday's devilry, I woke up from a nightmare. I went to check on the kids, but I wish I'd never woken up. Tamsin was standing in their room muttering something, and my beloved children were lying at her feet, lifeless and covered in blood. That witch heard me enter the room, and she threw herself at me and started screaming that it was my fault. The maids ran to us, hearing the shouts and dragged Tamsin off of me. Her face was contorted with fury and hatred. Towards me. She wouldn't stop saying that I killed my own children. She's totally insane. I looked at my children, and then the rage overwhelmed me. She killed my kids. I'll kill her. We hung her in the backyard. I want her to feel my suffering so that she knows the pain of a mother who lost her children. But one of my maids betrayed me and helped her offspring run away. Harold, Ellie, Tommy. I don't know how to cope with this pain. Tamsin, I remembered that's my mother's name. But she couldn't do it. I, I don't want to believe it. Oh, okay. It's burning time. Oh, oh sh <laughs> I was bumping into something. Hey, right, so you hanged her from this tree. Right, oh, hang on, there's something in the hand. My beloved's... Ah, oh, I get it, okay, so I'm your son. My beloved son, Peter, I don't have much time. Apparently, I will not be able to see how you were growing up. Forgive me for that. I tried my best. I tried for the other people, but it turned out that my only son will be left without a mother. I told Meredith to take you away from this damned place. I hope that the curse of this puppet has not affected you. Everything happened so quickly. That bustle. Uh, I hope Meredith managed to take my pendant and give it to you. It must protect you from the curse. There's there's not much time left. I hope fate will save you from all misfortunes. Infinitely love your mother. Okay, <laughs> sure. So that's the pendant that I got right at the very beginning. I guess I had that before the crash. Right. So that's protecting me from a curse. From the doll. Hey! Whew. <laughs> this game's jump scares are really good. <laughs> oh, right. That was a vision. That was a dream. That was another wardrobe. I'd to try to protect this family, not harm it. But who killed Ellie and Timmy? Right. Okay. There was a lot to read there, but um, sure. Where are we right now? Oh, hang on, there's a there's a note over here. Okay. Um, my daughter has been acting strangely, or strange lately, and constantly running away to her room. She only plays with that doll her father gave her. After that conversation, I went to Ellie's room to check on her. Through the door, I heard her talking to someone. I was frightened because a creepy voice answered her. I opened the door and saw Ellie sitting at her tea table with the doll. I swear it looked at me with malice. I took her away and started asking who she was talking to, but no matter how many questions I asked, no matter how loudly I screamed at her, she kept quiet, not saying a word, without any emotion. I was hysterical. Ah, I wish my Harold was here. Right. Let's see. Okay, I've got the lantern, and I presume I've got the monocle back now as well. I'm not seeing any strange symbols, though. I mean, there is something over there. I think that's just like a reflection of light, though. Right. Let's get out of here, shall we? Or not. No. Need to find a key, I guess? Maybe. I don't know. It's been a long day. Maybe I should just go to sleep for a while? <laughs> that's not a thing. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, okay. Maybe this is actually where it started. Maybe I read page two before. Uh, let's see. Dear Diary... Either I'm going crazy or... I do not even know how to explain this. I woke up at night because I heard a voice whispering in my ear. When I opened my eyes, I saw a doll without a face sitting on the chair. I was so afraid. I didn't understand how it got there. Who brought it? I came closer to the doll, but the damn thing ran away. The doll just stood up and ran. I grabbed an axe from the fireplace and pursued it. The doll ran to the children's room and tried to hide, but I started beating it frantically. Then I heard someone yelp. The doll was standing behind me. She just looked and laughed at me. I quickly caught it and began beating it without stopping so it wouldn't run away again. What was that? What the devil is that creature? Where did Harold get this doll? This can't have been another hallucination or side effects of the drugs. I'm sure it all happened in real life. Okay. What's this, was it? Oh, shit. Oh god, what's going on now? What did I just pick up? Was that an axe? Or, I'm not sure. Oh god, where am I now? 
It, yeah, I think it is. Oh, shit. Okay. I think we're sort of living through her past. Right. Hey there. So I, I beat it, yeah? Ah, oh, there's another one. Uh, these aren't dolls, are they? They're kids. Oh, well, I've injured you. Alright. Two down, one to go, is it? Wait. You can't hide from me. Oh, you can. I think there's a hole back there, right? She wasn't in her right mind, she was kind of possessed. This... Curse. This doll. Dad. If he is dad. I remembered that night. God, this doll controlled her eyes and played a cruel game with her. That's right, but I did see a strange hole in the wall. I think I know which room that is, too. Mother started. Right. Uh... Where'd you get that arm from? I can do it by myself. I can get into the rooms where these drawings are. Only together we can stop them. Sure. You find drawings of the curse. No, no, not yet. What's wrong with you, no, It's just on the loop. It's just on repeat. Okay. I don't think I really want to trust you, to be honest. I can do it by myself. Can we get out of... Oh, oh. Was that the doll that I heard? Did it just fucking knock me out? We're going all over the place. Oh, is this the attic? Okay, a sacral circle. What? Right. Oh god, what am I doing? Well, what am I doing? Oh, right. That was the ring. Oh, that's what I found in the music box. And that's what I brought with me. According to the ritual, there must be amulets. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, maybe this was in the small print that I couldn't really read before, but sure, it looks like, yeah, there's, there's maybe two more to find. There's another one here. Okay. Again? I need an aconite. What's an aconite? <laughs> okay, so we're looking for two objects and then a few more aconites? Maybe four more aconites? Okay, I've still got the monocle. The doll didn't rob me of that, at the very least. Okay, let's just... Have a little look around. Maybe for Timmy, who I think doesn't have the... Oh, hello. Arm anymore. Ellie? Oh, dear. Is that her humming? Hi there. You betrayed us. Ellie, I didn't betray you. I was deceived. But I will rectify everything. You're siding with Georgie. He removed the spell that the nurse Tamsin cast, and now he will take all our souls. Now he can't be stopped. My mother died because of this, and I will try to stop this evil. This is your favourite toy. You left it here. You need it for protection. And I found this paper in the things of your mother. It's very important. I, well, yep, okay. I assume you're right. Okay, so which one first? Let, okay, take take the to toy. Right. Jesus. Uh, let's see. Holy Spirit gave me the banishment ritual instruction. Is that what that is? Let's see. How to remove the curse. Right, it's the other half of the page. Uh, amulets, only one chance. And the rest of it? A bit of a mystery. But I think I get the idea. Okay, so that toy. That toy would go in the circle? This one? Yeah, okay. So there's just one more According to find. To the ritual, there must be amulets. And right, there's that knife that I think was on the other half of the page. I'm not so sure about the aconite. Or the aconites that I might need to find, to be perfectly honest with you. It could be up here. I don't know. Let's explore. It looks like a fairly big attic, really. Okay, bit of a dead end this way. 
Gonna give that a spin or something? No? Okay. Really enjoying this game so far. I don't think it's quite, you know, up to the Conjuring House's level. But, um, it's not half bad. Right. Again, I should be doing this a little bit more often, actually, but I'll just use this from time to time. Just to see if there's anything I can see through the walls, anything that's sort of glowing, lit up. Not lights, but uh, anything else, really. This way, maybe? <laughs> I mean, presumably, I, I want to find the stairs down, really. So, there's the hole, right? There's that hole in the wall. Something else needs to be pushed out of the way for me to get to it. I need to get back there. Somewhere to hide? No, not this time. Okay. This is the attic, right? Okay, I mean, the wooden boards, I understand. This makes sense. The soil beneath my feet, not so much. Unless, of course, soil and dirt was used as, like, an early insulation. Around here? No, I don't think so. Oh, God. There's just lots of nooks and crannies around here for seemingly no reason. But maybe it's going to play a part at some point. I don't know. I would hope so. Right, so... Back around here. Let's go this way. Come on. Yeah, the soil, the dirt, it doesn't really make sense to me. <laughs> Can I get under that, maybe? Ah, I think so. Yes. Brilliant. Well, hopefully this is the way out. Alright. Oh, right, what's this? It, oh. Something special with the book? Oh! I'll help you to find other aconite. Oh, that's an aconite? Oh, really? Oh, great, 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 great. It requires five, so I need to find three more. Ah, there you go. Now I'm seeing a symbol. Right. I'll put the monocle back on when I've found my way out of here. It should be around here somewhere. Ah, oh, that could be it. There you go. Right. Good stuff. Okay. Okay. Go on then. Is there an aconite in here? <laughs> or something else? Maybe a creepy doll. There is a note. And the ball? Bloody handprint. Sure. <laughs> Hey, Timmy! God, what have <laughs> done? That's the... Oh, right, that's the last of the five special items, I see. Yeah, so I've got to put that in the circle. Um, shall I do that now, or... Find the rest of the Aconites? I guess find the Aconites if I can. Uh, anyway, the atmosphere in the house has changed a lot. Timmy's too young to fully understand what happened. He constantly asks where Daddy is, and is always crying. And Ellie has completely stopped talking to anyone. Peter, the nanny's son, tries to play with them. But they don't make contact. And yesterday, Nurse Townsend said that... If I had found this part of the diary earlier, I wouldn't have been deceived by that damn doll. Yeah, I suppose. Maybe not that bit specifically, but, um, yeah. Sure, sure. No more bloodstain? Okay. Maybe I should recheck these rooms again. Okay, so that, right, now I know where I am. Is there something up with this? I don't think so. Where's this aconite supposed to be? Through there. Right. Could we get this door open? No. This one? They, uh, no, I can't even try that one. Right. Uh, hmm. <laughs> oh well. No way through the wall. What if I, I don't know, take the paintings off the wall? Maybe there's a couple of holes or something. Levers, buttons. Well, I'll tell you what I should do. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go and have a look at that wall. There should be a hole in it. So, it's this way. Yep. 
Yeah, through that one. And hopefully I'm going to find another one to crawl through. No jump scare this time. <laughs> right. Well, I'm kind of surprised to see that still standing. I thought that'd be destroyed. Yeah, this is it, right? This is where the killings occurred. Aha! Here we are. Can we push it out of the way? But yes, that's it. There should be a hole back here. And there is! Right. Ah. Where's this gonna go? What a complex house. <laughs> Okay, if I'm where I think I am. Wait, 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 so... Oh. Oh, I think I just unlocked it. Yes, okay, still though, we're, we're next door to where we want to be. <laughs> it's through there that I want to get to. There's got to be something here that's going to help me out, right? Looking for notes, or big old horse statues. Anything in the globe? No? No fire pokers or anything? Alright, hang on. Ah. Didn't I see another one over here? Yep, okay. Can I use that one too? Ooh. Okay, they're both looking down. That must be some very malleable stone they're made of. Ah. Oh. Wait. <laughs> we might have a problem. There's something missing here. Oh, I wonder what it could be. Yeah, there's a missing statue's head. When I had that vision... Didn't I see... It, it, when, yeah, when I had that vision, before I accessed it, I picked up the... What was it? A shovel? An, an axe or whatever it was? From a chest full of heads. So this should be, like, down here, right? Yeah. Ah, no, it's... Okay, open it up. Come on! I see the doll's gone. Creepily. Maybe I should go and check on the doll, actually. You know, by the Ouija board, see if he's moved. I mean, or moved back to that area. Probably not, because I know his secret now, but... Hmm. Let's see. Dad, are you in here? Nah, of course you're not. And you're not my dad. You didn't leave anything behind though, did you? No keys? No clues? Of course not. You're yeah, not on my team. Can we get in here? No. Ah. And that's reverted back to the first one, where it taught me about the monocle. Speaking of which... It's just that one, right? There should be like another two Aconites though, right? Unless they're all in one area. Are you just going to show me where one of them is at a time? Come on, Ellie, help me out here. Right. So... I need to find a statue's head. I found a statue's head, I think. Yes, I have. Great, okay. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive, I suppose. Uh, upstairs, let's add the heads and then make it look down, I guess. Let's see, do we need any glue? Anything like that? Or just good balance, I guess. Right. Oh. Oh. Oh! Right! Oh, forget the door, just go through the wall. I love this manor. <laughs> I always like exploring places like this, where you just can't trust anything around you. There's loads of secret doorways and walls that aren't walls and aconites! I'll do anything to stop me, yeah. Cannot let them catch me. So it was just the one Aconite in here, yeah? Where are the other ones? Okay. Same floor. Other side of the staircase, I assume. Oh, is that the... Shit. That could be the bathroom or the room that has a combination lock on it. And I haven't found the combination yet. It's four digits, right? It's like Roman numerals. Maybe a year. 
Any clues in here? I'm not seeing any. Right. Okay, well, let's check it out. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the combination lock room. The... <laughs> uh, there's a doll on the ceiling. Is that a doll? Yep. All oh, right. Six, eight, nine, six. Or is it maybe nine, six, eight, nine? Hey. <laughs> cool. I'm going to try 9689, actually. Yeah. Give me a sec. 96. Looks like we can only turn it one way. 8. Wait, no, that's 7, isn't it? 8. 9. There we are. There you go, because he was looking at it upside down. Cool. All right, so... Aconite number four. What's the catch? Is there a catch? Uh-huh. Okay. I found the fourth one. I need to find the last one. Where can it be? Monocle? Is that it? Oh, that's a long way away. Hmm. All right. You know who hasn't turned up in a while? Mother. Not my mother, of course, but mother. Somewhere over here? Okay. D There's a ladder there? Oh, no, there isn't a ladder there. But there is when you wear the monocle. I don't... Oh, I can't step over and climb down it. Right, okay. We'll go the long way around. Okay. Ah, uh, no, I did it again. <laughs> I pressed F thinking it would be the flashlight or the lantern. It's T. Why it's T, I'm not so sure. But here we are. Right, that's the that's the fifth Aconite. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Right. Ah! No, Christ, okay. I don't think I can really hide at this point. Okay, I'm going to go this way. I, I, oh, God, why am I going this way? This is a dead end. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, hey there. Yeah. Okay, right. Uh, who says we need to hide, right? Maybe we can just outrun her. Is she, sh I think she's lost me. I think she's lost me. Okay. I don't know how. <laughs> Woo. Um, okay, I I've got everything. Let's just go to the attic. That's it. It's time to go to the attic and finish the doll. Wow, all right. She was a lot easier to get rid of than I thought she would be. <laughs> nice to see that Timmy has the stairs. The stairs up again. That was a little bit cheap, but again, you know, it, it got me. Right, is she up here? I, I, I'm just wondering why this place is so big when it doesn't really need to be. There's nooks and crannies all over the place, like places to hide. She's going to make an appearance, I think. Or the doll is. Or something. Anyway. Should be just over here to the left. That's it. My pockets are overflowing. So, the ball goes over there. So that's all five of the items. And then the four remaining Aconites. That's it. And there's the doll. I knew it was going to be one of you. Right. I don't think we do anything here at the moment. Maybe I... Maybe I should have a look at this doll. Creepy. Okay, you're coming with me. I'm surprised he's not retaliating, to be honest. Right, which one do you go in? I guess it's one of these circles. Shit! Oh boy. Okay. Oh, no, here she comes. Whoa! Okay, that was like the spirit inside the doll. I assume. I don't. 
<laughs> I don't know, it's getting weird. I like it. So we should find the picture of the sun. And a key. It's gone very beauty and the beast. Oh shit. Put it back. <laughs> Put it back. Whoa, hey. Mum? What? Oh, oh, again, just in the middle of time. Maybe not. From the doll. Hey! Whew. <laughs> this game's jump scares are really good. Oh god, what am I doing? Amulets, only one chance, and the rest of it? A bit of a mystery. Okay, I mean, the wooden boards, I understand. This makes sense. The soil beneath my feet, not so much. I need to find a statue's head. I found a statue's head, I think. Yes, I have. Oh, right. Oh, forget the door, just go through the wall. I love this manor. The... <laughs> uh, there's a doll on the ceiling. Right. Ah! <laughs> nice to see that Timmy has a... <laughs> Whoa! 